Children's Defense Fund Freedom Schools, that's a big deal. They're all across the country, and so for us to have an opportunity to host a freedom school here at Jerry Whitson uh, with Tennessee Tech University as our sponsor, uh, this is a critically acclaimed program. Uh, it's research-based, uh, it's highly respected, so it's, it's an important asset for Tennessee Tech. Actually, Dr. Melinda Swafford, who is now retired from Tennessee Tech, suggested that we consider uh, getting involved in, in, in developing a freedom school here in Cookville and so we took it from there and we had to apply to the Children's Defense Fund. They approved our application and then it was the process of getting out and trying to raise funds because it's a $40,000 program but it's free to the kids so we have to raise all those funds for the program. As soon as I heard what the program was about and the things that they were going to be doing with these kids I couldn't rest until I was there. <laughs> It was an incredible experience. We saw, you know, we have such low ratios. We have 10 students for every one teacher we have. And so we really got to know these kids really, really personally and got to know their families and got to know the things that they like, um, the things that they dislike. <laughs> um, and so getting to work with them every day, it was just, it felt so normal. It was like we were one big family here, um, which is what we worked pretty hard to cultivate in our culture and environment as well, was just that we're all in this together. We all matter in this world. We can all make a difference and getting to see that through reading books, through an art project, through a social action project. Um, we got to see that all throughout and I got to see that come alive in the kids, which was so amazing. The community is, has been so responsive. We have had dozens and dozens of uh, contributors, uh, money, uh, in-kind donations, volunteers. Yes, the community stepped up. Oh wow, it has so exceeded whatever expectations I had. Uh, the kids have been uh, engaged in reading books and they've, got, uh, they've had opportunities for cultural enrichment. You know, they've been out in the community and seen things and done things that they might not have had an opportunity to, to, to do. Um, just the fact that they were here instead of sitting home all summer, you know. And, uh, but the best part about it to me is to see the smiles on their faces and to, to see them with books in hand. And you'll see today we are sending them home with dozens of books as they've taken books home, you know, every single week of the program, so. Personally, I think I'm going to take uh, the same message that we've been instilling with these kids all summer is that I can make a difference and, you know, how can I empower my kids if I'm not walking empowered myself knowing that I have an impact um, on the people around me, whether that's my family, myself, my community, um, the entire country. That's what we've talked about all, um, all summer. And so I think that I have to take that with me. If I'm not taking it with me, then the kids definitely aren't. So I think that's what I'm taking. We are already planning for next year. Um, we'll be out in the community asking for support again. So yes, we plan to be back next year.